You ask me once if I Hello. There you are. There I am. There you are. Can you hear me? There I am. Turn right. this down a little bit. How am I sounding? You sound fine. I mean, just fine. Just not fine. Amazing, not great. Not brilliant. Not. It's good to be back. <laughs> just fine. Yeah, you know, it could be worse. Could be worse. Could be better. Could be better. Could be worse. Oh. I just played some games, so I know everything about this patch now. Ah, perfect. How do you, how do you like I'm it random so guy. I'm loving it. <laughs> Adina's has always been lit. I went to get a coffee and then I was panicking that I was going to be late. Oh, don't worry. The Germans are always late. It doesn't matter. Yeah, right. They're always annoyingly on time. Yeah, if only. Well, how about this? They're on time, but on their stream, they have like this timer that counts down every fucking game. Doesn't matter oh, yeah. if everybody's ready or not. It's like they gotta wait for the timer every time. You have to wait for the timer. I uh, I was doing the timer. I was the OG timer, and then Luke was like, "Hey, how do you do this timer?" And then I told him, and now everyone does it. Nice. Although to be fair, I stole it for the people. Oh, apparently I don't so have this map. It means someone doesn't have the map. Apparently oh, you don't I don't. I, I don't I do? know why. Apparently you do. Maybe they updated the maps. I don't know. Yeah, we. I don't know. I haven't seen this one. Um, but yeah, Dwarves versus Lorien. I bet he'll pick Iron Hills. Iron Hills is very good, by the way. Now. I definitely knew that. Okay. So on the bottom left, in the orange color, playing as wait for it. Pick goddammit. Playing as Iron Hills, we have oh, Night Artist. And in the top right hand corner, we have the StarCraft 2 Protoss Professional. It is Luke. Playing Glorian. Nice. Some nice splits here from Luke already. Creeping you know, two goblin layers at the same time? Yeah. I mean, every map they made has a million creeps on it. So. Uh, but uh, the dwarves are starting with a barracks and a mine. And a scout. Holy shit. So, no units being produced from dwarves at the moment. Uh, Luke actually going for a pike to start with. Oh, he probably wants the troll pretty quick, I would think. Um, wow. Uh, dwarves are just going for another farm. 
So really? he's going to be stuck on Big two ego. units for <laughs> yeah, a long time. It's like watching Mogat. Yeah. Except he's also got a barracks too, so that's pretty uh So so the thing is here, like this is just this is just wrong. Like I don't think you could <laughs> say this in any other way because he's built a barracks, but the barracks is doing nothing. Exactly. So he should if he was gonna go double eco, he should have just gone double yeah, eco and got a little barracks. Yeah. Because exactly. his barracks has literally just done nothing for the past like thirty seconds. And it's weird because he went for a scout as well, which also, you know, costs money. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's still went for the barracks, which is interesting. Not getting the the creeps on how he is. The creep so Lorian actually, Lorian actually already has quite a significant uh, CP lead because Dwarves is still not producing a, a unit. He is starting it now. Luke is going to be pretty much two units ahead. Yeah, and Luke's also going for the troll right now. He's doing a lot of splitting. Yeah, creeping nicely. Grabbing farms on the outside, and if he manages to get this this troll earlier than his opponent, uh, that's probably going to make up for the for the lack of eco. Yeah, that Luke's sure. got compared to dwarves. Yeah, those dwarves are still aren't buying like their outside farms and stuff. He is now. Um, so yeah, a little bit slow. A bit slow. He's also just ah. letting his dwarves stand around, not really sending them anywhere. Luke's uh, Lauren battalion on the left is in a little bit of trouble there. It's level two. Um, and it's kind of derping around. It's having, yeah, it's having a couple it's problems, lost. I see. <laughs> I don't know if it's like because of the building beside that orc layer that's like causing problems or what. But... Yeah, it's actually very close to dying. It looks like he's seen it in time and he's going to pull it out. Nice. He's going for one battalion for each orc layer, and uh, it didn't quite pay off for that one, but. I mean. There's... As you can see, he's he's got so much of the map compared to the dwarf player already. Yeah. He's way ahead in money as well, I would say. Still only and Dwarf again, if he, he was just, I just clicked on his barracks again, <clears throat> and he just wasn't producing anything. Oh, yeah. He is now, so, but yeah, a little no, bit slow. he is pretty slow with that. He's also floating some money. He could buy another uh, resource building or something. Oh, bon oh he's, he's filling up his base. That's what he wants, I guess. All nice. mine shafts. So, not optimal play so far from the Dwarf player, it's got to be said. Just yeah. look at the map control that Luke has already. Yeah, I mean, it's again, though, again, though, on the right side, his, uh, his one Lorian battalion creeping these goblins or orcs, he's not really working out because he nearly lost another one there. He's just sending it back to his base, and he's level three as well. I'm very low health. And the other thing as well about creeping with just one battalion is if you actually do it with two battalions, it, they get creeped way faster. So it might actually be beneficial to just go with two battalions. Looks like uh, George is going to try to defend the mine at the top here. Yeah. Um, might lose that scout. I think he will. Maybe not. But no, like, I mean, it's understandable, though, because the dwarves, I mean, obviously, Lorien's going to get more of the map than the dwarves at the beginning. Like, that's just going to happen. But, like, this yeah. is uh, quite the difference. They're very speedy boys compared yeah. to the dwarves. Yeah. It's still the troll in the top left. Um, so, Luke is ahead in troll money, if you could call it that. Yeah. He's, he's, also, get, he's also filling his base as well. Um, if Luke can grab that second troll, too... Just look at the map, there's just blue everywhere, yeah. <laughs> and orange is just completely in his bottom left corner. Yeah. So a dominant performance so far from Luke. I'd love to see some Bjorns, some surprise Bjorns just trampling oh, over all of these swords. That'd be great. You've got to do it. Towards because who's going to build Lorien. pikes against Lorien? That's that's why that's why Bjorns work, because they're trash. They work <laughs> because they're so bad. Yeah. Nobody expects you to get them, and then all of a sudden you've got ten of them, and you just kill everything. Actually, yeah, in this patch, Groom Bjorn's pretty OP. Oh, nice. Uh, Luke, Luke doing a nice little scout here. Look at this with his uh, a battalion with just one unit in. So it's not going to do much anyway. And he just comes straight in. He scouted everything. He sees yeah, exactly oh, what true. his opponent's got. Yep. He sees, uh, you know, not that many uh, eco buildings. There's still a spare space. And he's seen that he's going for the Dwarven Forge. Which, um, and he's also creeping in the top left of the troll, by the way. Really nicely with the two Very scouts nice. and one battalion. Oh, um, I, heard, I heard the bears. Where the fuck are oh, they? Nice. Oh, yes. Um, is it a proxy? 
it's not I didn't have CRA, no, it's in the, it's in the top right area oh i see yeah i see it um uh, but yeah there was I a see. fight that went down in right in front of the dwarf base where luke used arrow volley and look at all the half health dwarves because of that nice I actually really like the idea of getting bears because it's going to force your enemy to get pikes and you know a big clump of Lorian swords even if you get loads of them are probably not going to trade that efficiently against the dwarves anyway. No. So okay, mixing up a little bear. bit. Yeah may Let's maybe transition them. Oh nice. it has got a tower coming up but yeah this this bear is just doing the most. It knocks them back as well so they stop attacking. Yeah. Let's let the, the warriors clean it up. Yeah, the dwarves do have pikes out. Interesting. Yeah, I guess he was predicting it, or maybe he was trying to go for the yeah. troll or something, but... Uh, but he's also got some crossbows out. So Luke's also scouted the uh, the siege works. Uh, the dwarves are deleting some of their buildings in their base. So he swapped some of his mine shafts out for stone workers, interestingly enough. Nice. He's got level 2 eco inside. There's unfortunately no targeting on this Bjorn. Oh, there we go. The archer's targeting it now. And one more volley and it should be dead. Uh, it's going to take a Down couple with them. The hero dwarf. The hero... Not the hero dwarf. The hero Bjorn. <laughs> and yeah, Luke's got the top left troll as well. And he's just completely dominating. And it's going to be so hard for the dwarven player to come back into this now. Yeah. I don't really know what could bring him back, to be honest. So Luke's getting bit. some... It looks get some safety pikes as well because he's seen the battle wagon. Yeah, he sees the yeah the siege. Where, yeah, here comes the first battle wagon. Honestly, even having like the, the Iron Hills battle wagon just sit there with a with his debuff is just good enough most of the time. Yeah, which is nice. Um, but yeah, Luke's getting a lot of pikes still. Yeah, he's almost got his base full. I mean, he's just completely in a winning position. He he just yeah. needs a good few pikes. I would even be tempted to, to get some archers, but he doesn't even really need them, to be honest. No. This um, Bjorn is uh, not the best movement, though. No. You're going to die? <laughs> uh, no. no. Oh, oh, my lord. Died. Although, no, I don't know how he's going to heal them now. Um, but yeah, I mean... I don't know what the dwarf could really do to come back here. I mean... He's, I don't know if you noticed too, he, de he deleted one of his mine shafts in his base and just didn't replace it with anything. I don't know what. Yeah, I did notice that. I was about yeah. to say that. I was also going to say Luke I'll also be had destroying an another one. Now. What is he doing? What is this guy doing? <laughs> He's floating so much money. Is he just trying to get extra money for a hero or something? Is that the strat <laughs> here? <laughs> yeah, just delete all your buildings so you can get one hero. I mean, that might be what he's trying to do. I mean, if he gets like a draw out, the leadership is pretty good. Ooh, this is Bjorn who's on such low health, but there's no target firing from the tower, so he's going to survive. Looks like the dwarves going to get caught out by all these warriors here. And this is the thing here, like with getting just getting a couple Bjorns, I, I like it so much because. Like, it's forcing him to get pikes out, and now he can actually just engage with his sword units against this dwarven army. Yeah. Because it's just not a whole bunch of tanky, stupid Iron Hills dwarves that can do <laughs> their stupid armor buff for free. Yeah, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't even need to switch him in the bears, to be honest. He can just, you know, yeah. they, they do a lot of single tire damage, so. Did, where'd that bow I can go? Did he lose that? He um... must have lost it. I, I, I don't see Oh, it. no, it's here. It's here. It's just... Uh, oh, I see it. There. Yeah, okay, okay. Luke's actually got an outpost top left as well. Ooh. Oh, not a Merkwood outpost, though. Not not very Chad-like. You CP blocks like a pro? Doris haven't even bought a CP upgrade yet. Did Doris buy a hero? I don't. He might have. Somehow all his money's gone. One. You and you can't see it in the base either, can you? Unfortunately. No, because of all the yeah. You have this click on super tab that you can't do in observer mode. Um. I think it's end time now, right? And yeah, ends got... would be uh, the way to that. Yeah, there we go. yeah, yeah, you're building it now. Build it. There's here come all the bears. 
This one. Oh, and he's dead. It's unbearable. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Yeah, like. When, when, like you said, when he gets those pikes out, just switch them to human form, and they kill the pikes anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yours are great. It's not a meme after all. Not a meme. Has he got? I think he's got heavy armor. He I does. He Is that player. what he fucking yeah. bought? Oh, oh man. <laughs> heavy armor for his one unit that's left alive. Clean the It'll make them works. survive for three seconds longer. Ah, oh, there go the crossbows. Oh no, Luke's losing Bjorn's to Pikes. Oh, the one with bad player. Of bikes and Look at that, he lost fucking two Absolute of them. Absolute trash. You should just quit. It's GG now. Now, if this was Jojo, he'd be getting his, uh, what are they called? Paris Galadron from this outpost. Oh, yeah. I'm, I died to that many a time back in the day. <laughs> Here comes the Arrow Volley, or is it already done? Yeah, he already did it. Oh, it's already gone. <laughs> I mean, these aren't even and, pikes uh, in formation. They're pretty good. Yeah. Even against swordsmen. Unfortunately but... for the dwarves, they're kind of just opening the gate and being like, Hey guys, yeah, come, come on in. Come wall, come, hey, welcome. We have huh? beer barrels, come on. <laughs> He's buying a and lot the, of pikes and... still. All the elves are like, nah fam, we just drink wine. Yeah. We're we'll too just, sophisticated. Uh... They're too bougie. <laughs> the dwarf trial of free existence is about to, to end. Uh, yeah, I don't really know why he's not just quitting, but you must think there's some just, hope. Just quit. <laughs> Is one battle wagon's putting in work, though? You can catch two sword battalions here. Oh, yes. Exciting this times. Is, this is the only the reason he's in the game. Getting a little bumpy. Oh, here comes a pike. Will he microwave? Oh, my God. He's I've just zoomed microwave. into this end space, and it is terrifying. <laughs> Oh, yes. His eyes are so blue. Oh, you're not wrong. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's quick beam, too. That's probably why. Damn, he's chubby, this one. Where are the ash ends? Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, he's making a lot of ash ends. Jesus. So the Dwarven player still believes he's got hope, he's still producing a sword battalion. He's got some pikes, oh they're hidden quick beam. Can they stop him? The answer's probably he no. He can do this. Oh there goes the battle wagon to the ash end, that's unfortunate. I guess he likes to, you know, have his whole base destroyed before he... You know, it's not over till it's over, you know? And the entire map is just blue. It's everywhere. all apart blue, from, apart from the oh, There's a couple of bombs. Okay, yeah. I'm struggling to see them. <laughs> I can see most of the Luke's. Oh yeah, no, dwarves still have a couple farms, you know? He's not out of it yet. Quick Beam's got a tail. Does he? Yeah. Like a little branch coming out of his bum. Oh. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, you're not wrong. He does have a tail. Holy shit. The stuff you learn when you're observing. Yeah. <laughs> you never know that in a real game. I don't know if we're doing an interview or not. They like to do them. but This is going to be best of three, right? Oh, it is best of three. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Shit. Game changer. You say that you're the professional. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe that was just you know, the download. Now, now this night artist guy, he's downloaded Luke's info, and he's just gonna counter everything. Yeah, maybe that was like a, it was like a hustle. So yeah, Luke's gonna play a little bit worse in. now. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like maybe. If there was more cheesy things you could do in uh, a day, night art might have a chance, but I don't think there's that many actual <laughs> Not strong really, cheesy things. The, the Germans do. made sure of that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there is the, the Ram Spam cheese, that is still a thing. But other than that. Uh, 
I totally forgot it was best of three now. Crazy times. I think this is elimination as well. The, t the final is a best of seven, right? Is it? God I'm pretty damn. sure I heard somewhere that it's a best of seven. Jesus. And that is going to be like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> because it's a day. Like, a best of seven in StarCraft is, can be like 30 minutes long. Wow. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, Dane nowadays especially, they every game takes at least ten minutes, if not more. I mean sometimes you just tell it's over from something happening, but Alright. Let's see if the download was complete. Um what do you think uh, Lou's gonna pick? Um she's gonna lure in. I don't well I don't really know what's strong in this batch. I wonder if he's going to troll and pick something weak. What's the weakest faction? Uh, Ladras. Yeah, I doubt he'll pick them, weak. though. That's always been the weakest faction. Yeah, but I've always liked to think they're strong. Sometimes. Oh, Night Art is going in Ladras. Is he? Oh, well, shit. Nice. <laughs> I'm guessing Luke's going to go, like, Gondor. He'll probably Just go something. Isengard or Gondor, yeah. Maybe Angmar. Yeah, something, something standard. Easy, easy wins. Spam out some swords. Give it a GG. <sighs> Where is Luke though? Is he recording that whole thing? Just say, look at I'm gonna put it on my fucking wall. On the fridge. Maybe he's looking at um Quick Beam's tail. Yeah. Be like, oh, that could shit. be it. He does have a tail. <laughs> Isengar, there it is. Nice. Isengard's always been strong, in my yeah, opinion. They've never been bad. Yeah. They're even better now, which is oh nice. Even which better. Is great. I mean, Lurtz is worse, but that's pretty much it. They just got so many strong things. I felt Isengard, like the Wildman spam, was always good. Wolves. Could be good in certain situations, but they weren't always really overpowered. But then when you get to the Orokai and you get to the heroes as well in the late game, obviously, yeah, they're instantly strong. Yeah, Wildmen are even better now. You don't have to oh, go nice. for wargs. Um, you know, if you're playing against Rohan, you pretty much have to go for warg. Or now you don't have to. Um, I used to do warg opening like every game with Isengard. But it wasn't, it's pretty it was strong. Pretty good. I mean, wargs. I mean. They just do a lot of damage. Oh, this is I a great a games. Map, by the way. I won a couple of games in that person I was playing. I don't know who he was, but he seemed decent. Okay. Captain or whatever his name was? Yeah. Alright, so top left. In the orange, playing as in Ladris, we have Night Artist. And in the bottom right hand corner, we've got Luke, playing Ice Cup. No double eco start. Shame this, is, this is like a desert and snow. Yeah. Like a desert and tundra. So Mladis is starting with the barracks and a author's hall. Oh, and Luke going for a forge to start. Didn't go for the free settlement plot. I don't know how he's going to afford another unit, but you know. You could always... I used to do that and use Aerostar on the building, but you can't do that anymore, right? New. No. Yeah, wait till you have a library, I think. I'm liking the new light colored uh, Enlarges buildings. They do look a lot better, don't they? It's like, it's like Enlarges in the summertime. Yeah. But if you look at uh, kind of the bottom of the map, there's like a mountain pass you can go through. It's kind of neat. Nice. That's the only reason I like this map. But and Night Art not using the Blade Master's uh, ability. Oh no, that's a passive. Oh, it's a passive. Oh, yeah, I stand corrected. <laughs> going for Hobbit farms. And Luke going for walks against the Madras. Pretty. Um, uh, I mean, it depends on Madras thinks war is going to happen. I guess. Yeah. A little bit risky, but then, uh, but then it shouldn't really because uh, Gildor's got his scout, right? So I mean, if he's in, in he theory, they should, he, can yeah, he, he uses that? it. He's uh, used it before. He didn't. You can't see his base now. 
I don't know where you used it on before. I don't know how, how you can tell whether they've seen it in observer mode or not. I just switch to their view and then you can see. Yeah, I mean you can yeah, but you can see everything even in their view. Yeah, but like it would be it'd be there would be a difference. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think he's seen it. He's he's okay now he's getting more played masters. Um So yeah, he's going for two blade masters, and the wargs are on the way. So it's not looking good for Madras. I don't think blade masters are particularly bad versus like weak cavalry. I mean, I uh, I lost them all to wargs in our game earlier. Oh well, those are different. <laughs> they're tra that, those, the creep warg trample is fucking ridiculous, and plus their bite is also stupid. Now I think they will still lose to the wargs, but I think the wargs will lose a lot of. A lot of men in the battalion. Ooh, Luke got a bit lucky there. He didn't, he didn't get uppercutted by that patrol and he nearly did. Oh, shit. The wargs coming in through the center. They're, they're going to hit into yeah. these blade masters. Let's see how they do. Okay. I mean, they're going to get the kill, right? And that's actually massive because he's only got two units. Yeah. So that's half of his army just dead. But, like, look at the damn. Look at the wargs' health, though. Like, they're getting so weak. Yeah. Oh, no. They're, they're actually not going to kill them. Yeah. Like, a, I think close. so. I think they count as basic units, so like the blade masters do extra damage uh, to them. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. He's actually going to lose them to the goblins potentially as well, especially if he doesn't oh, yeah. pull them back. There's one more trample. There's, and one, there's this, yeah, one warg left. <laughs> there's not really much point in keeping that alive now, to be honest. No. Unless he's going to use it to scout like he did last time. Yeah. And like... is he? He's, he's investing further in wargs. Um, he's also getting wild men at the same time. Probably would have been better to go with like two battalions of wargs. Yeah, um, I mean, if I was often... him, I would have just rushed Rukai. That's probably the yeah. best strat here. Oh, he's got Wolfgar out too, in the, at the top. Nice. He's finding some Blade Blasters. Fortunately, the Blade Blasters are hitting Wolfgar, not the units. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, I'm not sure if the scouts count as basic units anymore. Because they're technically, I think, at level 10, so I have fucking no idea. But either way, he lost the Blade Master there. He's built some pikes. He's getting another Blade Master, another Author's Hall. This one Warg Rider's just living his best life, <laughs> running all over the place. What's Maybe he's going to try and kill Gildor? No. He thinks he's Sharku. He'll eventually upgrade into Sharku. Uh, ah, he's dead. We bring spears from yeah, you don't want to fight that, Luke. Just pull back. And it's looking good. I feel like Luke hasn't necessarily played the best game here. No, but I don't um, his opponents played a little bit worse. I mean, it's definitely going better for the Night Rs this game than last game. Yeah. Always use the freezing hand way on the like... scouts. I'm nice. just kind of trying to catch them. Did not hit them. All right. I feel like if he went and uh, went to that battalion with two walk, like if he, if he waited for two walk battalions before he shows them. He could have done a lot better because I feel like often Cav is like, if you have two battalions, it's more than doubly as good as one battalion. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. No, it makes sense. Because I mean, if two battalions were hitting that guy, then they, maybe yeah. maybe they lose a lot of health. Oh, they killed Bill Fernie. Holy shit. Oh rip. Uh, F in the chat. Uh, Jimbo, I thought forges are better than halls. They are. But I would argue all halls are better at the start of the game. What does he do? He built a ba battle tower in his base. Nice. What is he doing? <laughs> so apparently, blade masters don't do AOE damage against Cav. So Cav is pretty strong uh, against them. I mean, the thing is, wargs are so squishy. So I don't know. The thing is, Luke. Th this is the situation that we're in. Like. I don't think Luke's played the perfect game, but he doesn't really have to do anything at this point because he's just ahead. Yeah, he has most like, of the if map. It, if, he's, if he just stopped and did nothing else, then he would still be winning, and he would still be winning more and more. Yeah. So any little things that he's doing now is just adding to his lead. And really, it's Imlogis that needs to do something and get out there on the map and start taking some of the map 
But it's that he's building a tower in his base for like 500 resources. Oh, 800 more, yeah, resources! Yeah, way more than that. Yeah. 800 resources he spent on a tower in his base. Uh, like if you when want he could have got the little ones as you well. Exactly, get the little ones. They're like, not oh, sure they're not no. as good, but like, if you're that scared about him rushing in your base, then just build the little towers. You don't need to waste a whole build plot on a tower. See, he's not even defending anything. Oh, he's building another one! What is that? Nice. <laughs> I think he cancelled Did he cancel it? He did cancel it, yeah. But uh, if he built another one, uh, I don't know. Let's see how these walks do now. So they've got the Blade Master, the uh, scouts doing the volley off on them. Oh, there's mounds in the way. The walk's kind of derping out. Yeah, that'll be a dead battalion, looks like. Eisen and Imla is a very bad matchup for Imla because Eisen can kill Imla in the early game or wait and kill them in the late game. I actually made a video on on uh, how strong Isengard are against Imladris. I don't know if you remember that. I think there was actually was a, a change made ago. after that. Yeah. yeah, that was ages ago. Um, I can't remember what it what specifically it was. I think it was like Wargs plus the Scouts together, and then they made a change to the Scouts. Oh yeah, it's because the Scouts used to be able to switch to their bows like yeah. by default. Mm -hmm. Now they don't. So you can just shoot action. the pikes and just wreck everything with the uh, yeah. walks. Um, but yeah, I can imagine it's still really hard for Imladris in this matchup. I'd, well, to be fair, I think every matchup is hard for Imladris in this patch, pretty much. Yeah, uh, I I thought I honestly thought that Imladris was slightly underpowered when I played in like four point four point one or whenever it was. I would agree um, as well. Well, a lot of people, a lot of people, I think thought they were overpowered, or if not overpowered, just annoying to play against. Well, it, but, was, um, it was the wall well camping that was really annoying. <laughs> yeah, but so, so then just change the well yeah, on the that's wall, right? I, yeah, exactly. But I think they were trying to, uh, um, like that. I mean, it, it makes sense to have the blade masters at level one, I think, because when you like before you need a level two barracks to get them. By that time, people yeah. aren't really spamming basic units anymore, really. Um, but I mean, I never, I never got the blade masters. I feel like it, it's a good idea if you want the blade masters to be used. Yeah. But I never ever made blade masters. I just didn't find them that effective. The swords were way better because they had two types of uh, abilities to use. Mm -hmm. Those swords are all around, just way better. I mean, against like you know, really spammy packs like Mordor, I would argue the blade masters are way more useful, in which that's the only matchup where Amiris has a chance. I think. Yeah, uh, because uh, like blade masters really do just slaughter basic in units. Like it's really crazy. If you ever start to see them trying to fight a, a clump of stuff, they will win almost every time. Nice. Um, but I mean, I don't know why they didn't just make it. You get all three at the start. Like you know what I mean? Like swords, blade masters, and pikes. Like I don't see what the problem would be with that. Um, because you run into this problem that the the uh, enlargers is having. Which is, you know, well, I guess it's not really a problem right now because there's no Urukai out. But if Luke just rushed Urukai, he would, the game would be over. But he is, and he's, he's looking, he's looking pretty over now as well. Yeah, he's got lots I feel of like, Urukai out now. <laughs> yeah, he's just taking the troll. He's getting a outpost. Um, he's obviously transitions into Urukai. He's actually got Ugg look out as well just oh. now, and um, he's making the transition, which Elendil did really um, effectively as well in tournaments that he was playing in. Where you just go for like mass crossbows. Yeah, there's nothing and, they can do about like, that. Yeah, and Imla's got no cav out, and he's got he's got very few units in his battalions. If Luke just if just goes mass crossbow now, like don't even get any pikes, just go mass crossbow. There's nothing that Imla just will do. They'll just melt to it and die. Yeah, there's yeah, like his it's really hard for Imla, especially on a camp map, to get a, a, a stables out. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, it is uh, hard. Because like you know you you already have so because the library doesn't make money anymore so like you're you're already oh, no. down an extra resource building. Um, I remember when the library used to make like 150 resources yeah, per tick, and then Dimitri, yeah. Dimitri obviously he would find the exploits and literally anything that he could. He would just fill his base with uh, libraries that were getting 150 ticks per turn, and he was just getting like thousands and thousands of resources. Every minute, and I would lose to him. Yeah, I mean, that I mean they could just make it so you can only make one of them. It makes money, but nope, he's got to change the whole thing. Uh, but uh, holy, these orcs are speedy. Look at them catch up to those fucking blade masters. 
Yeah, and then that, now the speed as well, especially with Ugluck coming out, um, with his speed boost, like, it's going to get to a point where Mlodris just can't escape, and the game's basically over already. I mean, it look is. at the map. Yeah, look at the map and the armies, I mean. And this is what I mean. Nothing particularly happened for the past couple of minutes. Nothing significant really happened. Nobody really... I mean, there was, there was a fight, obviously, that Mlodris lost just then. But Luke just kind of macroed. He just got CP. He was creeping a troll. And... Any tiny little thing like that just added to his lead. And even though a lot didn't happen, like I said, he doesn't really need to do anything. Yeah. He's just winning. He's just in the lead. Now, I don't know if the Blade Masters do AoE to the Urukai, because technically they're not elite units. Um, they're one hitting the... Uh, they're one hitting the crossbow, so they might... Yeah, yeah it looks like they might... I'm not sure if that's AoE or if it's just two guys hitting at the same time. I'm not sure. They got either. to level two. Yeah. Maybe he can save them. Always two. using their ability. Oh, nice. Extra damage. And rip. That, yeah, rip. And also that was given Ugluk. He's now on level four. So, uh, uh, yeah. Big rip. And there's also Rams in his base. Oh, but Gildor. So he used, he used the ability, which is amazing. He used the ability. But at the same time, all of his stuff is dead. Yeah. So, uh, a slight disadvantage to that. I thought that was Saruman then, but it's just a Lawmaster in white. Just uh, for some reason talking to the base and he's getting smacked in the back by some wildmen. And now he's dead. Ah, uh, but hobbits though. Maybe. Yeah, the Senate. I mean, I don't know. That's what I mean. Like, the, they're technically not elite units, but it'd be interesting if the Lawmasters did do AoE to them. How, ma how this matchup would change. Potentially. The Senate is saying that Blade Masters don't do AoE against Oryx. Yeah. As they are elite units. They, well, they're not technically elite units, is the thing. That's why I was like kind of questioning it. But, I mean, I can see that they don't. So. Luke's just summoning all his uh, traitors and Fresh Snacks boys. Oh, yeah, those freaking traitors. Oh, they are very strong. GG. GG. And at this point, he realizes the game is over. Yeah, now it's over. Although, having said that, Gildor is still alive and is dealing absolute massive damage to these oh, Uruk over here. He's, he's got two kills. Them. Oh, maybe three? Come he's on, got... Gildor. Freak. Uh, oh, oh, no, he, he switched target. He missed. No, Gildor. Gildor, come on. For God's sake. Gildor, just shoot this guy who's building the building. Shoot this purple shirt guy. Oh my god, look at this guy's face. Uh, he's building it. He's not yeah, even he working. Look at him. He's not even moving. He's just standing there. Oh no, he's got a tool now. He's got... But he's holding it the wrong way around. Oh, and oh my god, he disappeared. He has a level. Luke has a level 6 scout in there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, why do they get to level 10 now? No, um, because what, like, what? they're like. It's it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, they can get to level ten. And once they're level ten, they kind of count as heroic units, but they have to get all the way up there, obviously. GG. GG. It's all over. It's a pretty uh, decisive one, I think. Yeah. Went a little better for the for Madras that time. Or a little bit anyway. In the Come last on. game. I feel like I feel like uh yeah. I mean it was so obviously so clearly in Luke's favour yeah. throughout the whole game. But there was a couple moments where he fought back. I mean like yeah, Luke losing that war at the beginning, I mean that was something. Yeah. Gildor killing a few Gildor, guys. Yeah, yeah, Gildor didn't die until the you know, till the, he was defeated. He kept Gildor alive the whole time. And that's extremely hard to do. <laughs> <sighs> right there. Well, I don't know if they do interviews or not. They never tell me these things. Yes, we do. Oh, well, there yeah. it is. Oh. Am I... <laughs> hey. Hello. Hi, Luke. Perfect timing, I guess. Yeah. Very dominant uh, performance there, Luke. How did you feel it went? Yeah, thank you, first for streaming. Nice to have a uh, like professional English stream again of with course. you, the fella. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah, it. That's not. Sorman said the basically the exact same opposite. 
<laughs> okay. Well, I, no, uh, you asked me how your mic was. That's all you asked me. And he's, <laughs> I was like, so I came came back for the first time in years, and I was like, how do I sound? And Solomon was just like, fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah. Not not amazing. Not brilliant. Not good to see you back. Just fine. Uh. <laughs> well, I think the games went yeah quite well. I mean, yeah, I think there was quite a big skill gap between yeah. me and my opponent and. Yeah. That was really clear. You know, if you if you do look at the replays, you'll see. You know, like um, in the first game, he got he got to he got a uh, a barracks and a eco building, and then got a second eco building, and then wasn't making anything from the barracks for a long time. So the barracks was oh. kind of just you know not in use, and it was kind of a few hundred resources wasted. Whereas you played, you know, really clean, good macro, That's especially brilliant. in the first game. I think. Yeah, you you got the whole map pretty quick. What do you think about the the walk start in the second game? How do you think that went? Uh, I mean, I was very surprised about the damage that the uh, how they called Blade Masters in English. Yeah. Uh, did. yeah. To be fair, I remember like walk starts like uh, Eisengard and Ladris. Also, you once did a balance whining video about it <laughs> that it yeah. would be a PE for Eisengard, but. And like generally, I think Warcraft would be good against some ladders. I mean, you force out very early pikes, and if not, you can usually kill the battalions. But mm -hmm. and I, I never did it before against uh, ladders. I just thought about it. I mean, like I saw, okay, he can't. He did like eco building inside again and the barracks. So I thought to myself, okay, no way, he's gonna have very early pikes. And I also built the walk pit uh, right after he scouted. So yeah. like he, he shouldn't know, but then like they just died to yeah. the late master. So I don't know why, because they should have less armor and should actually be worse against Kef. But I don't know. They also like the walks were pretty buggy. So I don't know what they did. I just like did what I always do, like move command them yeah behind the late masters, but they just died. So I don't know. Seems I, I was to be saying... not that good. Yeah, I was saying in the stream, I think it would it could have worked if you maybe went for two wargs and then hit him and you had two, mm -hmm. uh, rather than just one, because a lot of the time, two bat uh, uh, battalions of Cav work a lot better than, than you would expect. They, they're almost like more than doubly as good as one. Uh, so yeah. I think that could have worked. But yeah, one, one battalion of wargs usually doesn't do that great, unless they're against really weak things like... Right hand stores, that's what yeah, I've always Yeah, they might just have too much health for the one ward to, to handle, sort of thing. Well, actually not. I think like in, in 4.5 you could easily kill one battalion of swords if you do I, it properly. I think the blade masters have like different armor than swordsmen. I feel like yeah, it's a bit different. Like... Yeah. Um, but I think that's well, probably yeah. why. And yeah, but then you were just you just got ahead and just macroed well, and then it was GG. Yeah. I mean, what are you thinking about your next match? Are you worried about your next opponent? I actually don't know against who I'm playing. But I think I play, if I reach the semi final, it's most likely that I play against either Jojo or Cairo. If I remember, if I see it correctly, I, I, at least I had uh, against a very strong player. Yeah, so, so who, that who will you, be very hard. Yeah. Who are you fearing most in the tournament? Yeah, Cairo for sure. I mean, he, he won the last tournament. Which was like an invitational, like on the Valino server, which is a private German server. They did like yeah. a little tournament. He won that, but yeah, he's he's quite strong, but beatable. That's all I like that, and I'm working to beat him. Sounds good. Yeah. I mean, also Any... Jojo is he's back. He is getting stronger and stronger, so he will. If he reaches he... a shape that he once was, uh, as he beat you in the beam cup and so on, then it will be a very hard opponent. Did so. he take some time off then? Yes, he had like his graduation and stuff. So oh, nice. he, for like half a year, he didn't play at all. But now he's back. Nice. Like you, it seems. Yeah. Yeah, I did play a couple games against Solo Man. But I, in my first game that I played, I got a pantry first by mistake, <laughs> and I didn't realize the whole time. So I was like, why can't I afford anything? And then in the second game, I was like, I can afford loads of stuff now. What the hell is going on? And I was like, I think I accidentally clicked pantry. On the, when I, you know, like when you when you click on the thing to get the scout hero, I must have clicked pantry at the same time. 
<laughs> and then I had no money left. Yeah, or it's just yeah. you're going for a very bold strategy. Yeah, maybe I'm just changing the meta again. Yeah. yeah. Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> Never be supply blocked again. Yeah. Yeah. For the 2021. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, good luck in the tournament. Well done in, this, in these games. Very clean. Very nice. We're well, looking forward to more Storm and Fella streams. Or like the Fella Horman com combination again. The oh, we <laughs> <laughs> Just so we can but do well, it again. By the way, Fella, do do you want me to like give you? Ah, oh, you already have the streamer role. So like, do you want to stream more, some more games in the tournament? Um, or? yeah, it depends on my schedule and what I'm doing. But if I'm free, then I can do some streams. Oh, nice. Cool. Cool stuff. All right, yeah. Um, does the other guy speak English? Um, yes, but not that great. So I guess I will ask someone in the, from above if you can translate. Okay. Yeah, or I can translate. <laughs> or I can translate. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. <laughs> Just do the interview in German and translate. Yeah. Just we'll Google Translate it. You know, it's fine. Uh, yeah. I mean, I will quickly go one room above and ask a phone because it's translated. Right. Yeah. yeah, ich bin ein sehr gut Deutsch Spieler. <laughs> uh, not Spieler, Sprecher. Sprecher in the Deutsch. Man. Yeah? What's that translate to? That means I'm... <laughs> I think I accidentally said I'm a very good German player. <laughs> <laughs> when I meant to say I'm a very good German speaker. I see. So I kind of... I kind of uh, contradicted my own freaking oh. sentence. Oh. Well, I didn't find any, but I guess he can try. I mean, I but mean, does this make yeah. sense? Does this make sense, Luke? Ich yeah. bin ein sehr gut Deutsch. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I said Spieler first, but that means player. But how do you say I'm yes. a good German speaker? Spieler? Uh, ich spreche gut Deutsch. Oh, ich spreche gut Deutsch. Sehr gut yeah. Deutsch. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. Okay. I seen <laughs> it feels like you don't will not have any problems. So. Yeah. Easy peasy. Uh, easy. Easy peasy. We got the Google Translate right here. Mm. Oh, actually, uh, he went away. So it seems like he won. Oh. I mean, it's fine. We don't have to do it if he doesn't want to. But uh, I'm gonna ask. Him. Thorman is a dumbkauf. <laughs> You take that I guess back. we don't know. Them. Yeah. Do you know what it means? Nope. Uh, well. Yeah. I'm assuming yeah. it's not very nice, is what it means. <laughs> okay, he's coming. He's coming. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go to the German stream. Yeah, he's All gonna right. come. Sounds Have fun, good. guys. See ya. Happy to say. <laughs> hey, hello. Hello. Is he here? No. I can never hear when people join the Discord when I'm streaming. It's kind of weird. He doesn't look like it. Maybe he's got lost. He's got he's lost in Discord. In the he's in a different chat than everybody. Oh, no, oh there, there we he are. Is. Oh, hey. Hello. Hello, or should I say, hello? <laughs> hello. Um, how, did, how did you feel the games went, Night Artist? Very bad. I thought it, I, would, uh, I would beat it, but it's not so. Yeah. So did you, did, coming into the games, did you think that you had a good chance of winning? No, no, I don't think. I thought I would him... Uh, be, I would... Uh, what, I, what should I say? Um, I would... Beat him in our first place, but oh god, sorry, my English is so bad, oh, I can't sorry. speak it anything. It's better than our German. It's better than our German, so you know, that's something. Uh, I thought I would even, was I struck of English? I would give him some hard time for a play, that what I wanted yeah. to say. Okay. Yeah. So you thought maybe it would be closer than it was? What do you mean? So you thought maybe the, the fight would have been closer, it would have been more of an even fight than it was. Because uh, Luke played very well. No, I don't think. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think uh, you know you did some good stuff. You got eco buildings. You were producing units. Um, you know, you, so you did better than Sawman, basically. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The uh, the battle tower in your base was a bit strange from the second game. There is there a, a reason you did that? No. It's just. Uh, I don't think what I should say, but because I thought I would uh, win with Imladus, because uh, with, with Imladus is my main uh, faction. Okay. Yeah. Um, the first, I wanted uh, to take a outpost, but uh, there was no time for me. I'm, I have to uh, buy. I have to need more time for the rebuild because I lost. Every time I add on another stuff, that was very bad. I can't uh, rebuild me in a time. Yeah, I th I think you played better with him largest than you did with dwarves. Yeah, mm, yeah. There's a big difference in the games there. I think you got more of the map as him largest. You killed a couple of units. You killed his wargs at the very start, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um. Sorry, I can't understand every time. No, that's I'm... okay. <laughs> We're trying. Um, but yeah, I mean, and so are you? Is I'm, I'm not sure how this works. Are you like out of the tournament now, or how does that work? Yeah, this is the knockout stage, right? Is, is it knockout? I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, um, that's well, my I'm last not... match, I think. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, okay. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. I, I, don't, I think I don't know either. It was uh, only just one fight. Okay, I am glad why because another fight I would my nerve would bit. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to cope if there's another one. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, thank you for joining us for the interview yeah. Yeah, and good luck. Plan. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck in future tournaments. Thanks. Okay. Bye. See ya. See ya. All right. But oh, that was smooth. That was very smooth, obviously. Um, yeah, I think I'll uh, end the stream there for whoever else is watching. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, joining me. Hopefully we can do a couple more. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, end the stream there. So see you later. Bye.